time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by Helene Curtis, makers of Stabette, Swab, and Shampoo Plus A. Now, let's all play What's My Line? Let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a gentleman who used to be a padded attraction, but is now just an added attraction, and we're very gladded. It's Mr. What is his name again? Charlie Needleman. Charlie Needleman. <laughs> Jackie, man, I'm very attractive, you know. Hello. Hello. Everybody Hello. knows you. That's why I thought it was unnecessary. <laughs> oh, I've choked. And now, uh, <laughs> friend, it's with great pleasure to present to you, at my left, the newlywed Mrs. Clifton Margaret Truman Daniel. <laughs> that popular publisher who guessed who I was last week and made it possible for me to go home early, Mr. Bennett Sir. <laughs> Miss Daniel, it's a pleasure to have you, and Mr. Noodleman, nice to have you too. <laughs> and, and now it's my pleasure to introduce our panel moderator, who according to the Saturday Evening Post is the biggest patsy at gin and canasta in the entire territory served by the New York, New Haven, and Hartford Railroads, <laughs> Mr. John Charles Davis. I'm hurt all over, Coach, but I'll play. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Once again tonight, we're up to our old tricks. We have some very interesting occupations and some interesting people with them. And with the combination, we'll promise to give the panel at least a rough night of it. By the way, panel, put on your blindfolds, if you will. Thank you very much. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the show, and we'll meet our first challenger in just one minute. And now, let's meet our first challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? As you know, it's our custom when we feel there is a possible area of identification in dress or appearance or location of home site or etc. So we've asked you to blindfold yourselves in this first instance. We'll abandon some of the usual information, such as where do you live, and uh, just ask our guest if he's familiar with the technique of scoring. All right, you are. Then let's let the folks at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is. piece of help for you, panel. Our guest is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Charlie Needlenose. I mean, uh, uh, Jack Leonard. Uh, you are from this planet? <laughs> yes. yes I, I didn't hear that, uh, Mr. Yes Rodriguez. was the answer to that. Yes. Uh, I, I imagine that by the amount of applause you got that you're very popular in your particular field of endeavor. Yes. I can't hear him. Is he a Secret Service agent? <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that is... Uh, yes, Jack. Yes. He's well known in his field. Uh, of are you in the entertainment field, sir, or whatever it is? No. One down and nine to go. Miss Margaret Truman. He's Mrs. Not... Clifton Daniel. Uh, yes, sir. He's not in the entertainment business. Um, the only other one field I can think about. <laughs> um, are you in politics? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Surf. Uh, have you got anything whatever to do with anybody who is sitting on this panel tonight? <laughs> yes. 
Would it possibly be uh, some vague connection with our guest panelist, Mrs. Daniel? Vaguely. Well, I didn't... <laughs> vague? Wouldn't be Mr. Daniel, would it? Yes, it's Mr. Daniel. I'm afraid that's right. <laughs> John, John, I was very suspicious when he put on that blue, sh blue uh, shirt. <laughs> he never wears blue shirts. He's not a bad looking man for a newspaper man, Mr. <laughs> what did you He's say, Jack? For a newspaper man. He's well, I, I don't mean to start a fight. I, I voted to your way a long time. <laughs> Well, we had fun anyway. We got by you, Miss Margaret, but I was afraid Bennett was going to give us trouble. He's good looking enough to be in pictures, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's something. Oh, oh, is it? I was studying your voice upstairs, Mr. Daniel. I, I thought should. you were. I, I tried to change it so you <laughs> wouldn't understand so it down here. Well, he's a very nice looking fellow. Congratulations. <laughs> I should do this, I suppose, Miss Margaret, because I've just been sitting here watching Charlie Needle, no I mean, Jack Leonard, and he was trying to get that message in if it broke his neck and mine, too, and he got it. Uh, I might add, uh, Mr. Davey, if I may, I hope, to, don't, I hope you don't think I'm being rude, and, uh, because I've only had two years of high school, you see, I'm not very well educated, but anyhow, the name is Jack E. Leonard. Jack E. e. I have never, never had my name corrected pronounced on the show, and I think I might, uh, but you're adorable, I think you're... What does the E stand for? Uh, anything that's available. <laughs> <laughs> Clifton, I'm sorry that we didn't give him a rougher time of it. I was hoping we would, but at least we fooled your bride, and I think we ought to give you a chance to say hello to her now. Thanks That's very much for being our guest. And you say <laughs> good night to the Well, a rousing beginning for the panel, but I think uh, perhaps all will not go as well as the night goes on. Let's see what we can do with another challenger. Would you come in and sign in, please? Jane? Nancy. Jane DeClue, is that right? Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss DeClue, and where are you from? Queens Village, New York. Queens Village, New York. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a neighbor of all four of those folks over there, yes, basically, so take a look at them, but you don't have to get any closer than that. Okay. We're protecting you. You come over here and sit down next to me, if you will. Do you know how we score this program? Yes, I do. That's fine, then let's let everybody here and viewing at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, Miss DeClue is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Cerf. Mr. DeClue, uh, the way you carry yourself makes me suspect that you've had some special training of some sort. Have you, uh, have you had some special training for the work that you do? Yes, I have. Well, I didn't know it was funny. Uh, is it the kind of training that involves your taking some special course of education? Yes. <clears throat> Did you get a degree for the course that you took? Yes, I did. Uh, is this degree put you into some kind of professional work? Yes. Would the, would the professional work have anything to do with the field of law or medicine? That covers so broad an area that I would think uh, we could say yes to that, wouldn't you? Right. Yes. Well, now, which we one are now taking, for instance, yes. in the area of law, yes. and it, uh, including the courts, all of those instruments of the um, courts by which... Well, the having explained all that to me, I, I will ask Mr. Clough, have you anything to do with the field of medicine? Yes. Thank you, well, John. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a degree of your own, Mr. Clough? Yes, I have. Uh, is it an MD? No. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. But it is the field of medicine. Miss, it isn't Mrs. DeClue. It is Dr. DeClue. No, it isn't. Oh, how are you? Lovely day, isn't it? That's two down and eight to go, Mr. <laughs> Jack E. Leonard. She said it was not an I'm on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Daly. Uh, you're in the field of medicine. Uh, that's very interesting. Oh. Uh, don't tell me. <laughs> 
Are you uh, in any way uh, associated with? Are you not associated with? Are you, are you not associated with, we'll say like animals or something like that? Are you, are you not? Do you want to ask, are you not associated or are you associated? I don't care, just so I get an answer. I don't really care. <laughs> I, I haven't heard anything yet. Everybody is secret tonight. Everybody is secret. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you or are you not associated you with? You can't me? answer are or are you not, yes or well, no, I, Jack. I'm making up my e. own rules. Oh, you I can't. It's, uh... Are you associated with animals, children, women, people? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Didn't leave anything out. Now I gotta ask myself a question. Uh, are you in the baby business? No. Look out now. You're not? Mm, no. Let me have a small conference, please. The baby business. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's married. Maybe she's married to your husband's brother. <laughs> Actually, we've talked this over, Jack, and we are both of very generous hearts. On the other hand, we feel we have a deep obligation not to confuse you. And since you have, in this question, raised an area where an affirmative answer could cause a great deal of confusion, to spare you the confusion, we'll give you a no. That makes it three down. <laughs> I want to compliment you. That speech was longer than Cinerama. <laughs> Uh, you're <laughs> not, she, right. she's, she's not, uh, she she's not in, specifically in the baby business, no. No, but she's not an MD. No. That's right. It's determined that there is a degree, but that there is a general area of medicine. She has a degree, and she is in medicine. General area of medicine, that's right, but not an MD. Uh, well, do you deal with both men and women? Yes. Uh, do you... Um, oh, I thought she'd say no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Well, after, do they come to you? Yes, they do. Well, when they leave you, do they feel better mentally and physically? Oh, yes. I would be fair there and say, Miss Margaret, that the assumption is that they are relieved of some concern and therefore improved mentally, which by natural extension would yield, I imagine, some definite uh, benefits physically, see? too. <laughs> I think we're talking to the wrong doctor. <laughs> really confused. Um, they do feel better, though, when they leave you. We hope hmm. so. Do you uh, wear some sort of a uh, garb other than the one you have on now, I mean, other than a dress? No. You wear no uniform. That makes it four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Clough, are you in an office when you do your work? Of sorts? No. No office? No, not while the work is being actually being done. That's five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Is there anything psychological about your work, Mr. Clue? Does psychiatry come into it, or...? Uh... I would say that there, by stretching things, we could say there is a psychological potential in the work that she does. Well, do the people, when they come to you, come singly? For consultation of some kind? No, usually not. It's a group movement. <laughs> <laughs> With a mass psychologist. Good about it. Four to go, Mr. Leonard. Are you a softball player? <laughs> <laughs> Seven down and three to go, Miss Truman. Oh, Jack, would you do that? No, I have to ask questions. People, men and women come to you, and they do not come singly. But you don't work in an office? No. You work out of doors? No. That makes it eight down and two to go, that being a new question, Mr. Sir. Mm. Mr. Clue, would you have anything to do with a, a mass inoculation, like vaccinations or something of that sort? No. <laughs> Nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. Do people benefit by your advice? Do you advise them in some way, Mr. Clue? Yes. I would say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you advise families as opposed to single people? Yes. Do you advise them regarding children? Yes, I think so. How can you do that and not be a doctor? I'm so confused. Men how to do things. Do, <laughs> do oh. you have some kind of a school of how you... Uh, I don't know how to say it even. I'm having a terrible time. <laughs> 
do you speak to expectant mothers? Yes, I do. Actually, that isn't all of it, Miss Arlene, but I imagine you can fill in the rest. Since well, they do not come alone... Pardon me, dear? They do not come alone. Expectant mothers they and... They do not come alone so that the, the fathers come, too, to learn something about how they take care of the expectant mothers. <laughs> Oh, that's what. Now, actually, Mr. Clue teaches a course for expectant parents at the maternity center here in New York. The one critical question that wasn't asked is, do you work for a profit-making organization? You've forgotten that, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, ah. That's but, right. But uh, I asked if there's anything to do with babies, and I was turned down. The babies finished? aren't there yet, John. I know, but... Oh! <laughs> To your question, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still think I'm right. Oh, I want you to be happy in the thought. Thank you, Mr. Well, sorry. I must say, Mr. Clue, we nearly got them. It's as close as we've been for some time to getting them. Thank you very much for making it possible. Thank Hope you, you had fun. It was I nice having you. you. <laughs> and now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity for which, once again, I've had to ask my friends and the panel to blindfold themselves. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, good. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And let's begin it with Arlene Francis. Are you part of the entertainment world? <laughs> That's yes. <laughs> Mr. Leonard? Ah, uh, this guy's a bird. <laughs> Are you uh, from this earth? That is, yes. Anything on an upkick is a yes. Miss Truman? Uh, are you Harpo Marx? <laughs> <laughs> Anything on a down kick is a no. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Are you a male? <laughs> Miss Francis? That isn't even dubious. <laughs> uh, no, not Dr. <laughs> dubious. Are you a comedian? Are you what, Miss Arnold? A comedian. Are you a comedian? No? No, that's two down and eight to go, Mr. Leonard. Ah, uh, that's clever. <laughs> uh, are you a leading man? Are you in the picture business? Wait a minute, I'm sorry. You got I'll rephrase that. Are you working? <laughs> <laughs> but there's a three down and seven to go standing, Miss Truman. Are you in the theater? And now, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a yes and no. The word yes theater being so broad in its connotations, we would not be able to shut it out, and so we'd say yes and no. Mr. Well, Sir? Would you say, then, that you are principally known in the nightclub field? <laughs> That's a crashing yes, Miss Francis. Do you sing? Like a bird. Mr. Leonard? Well, I don't know. Does he sing or doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Anything on the upkick is yes. I see. Do you sing high? <laughs> <laughs> no. Four down and six to go. Miss Truman? Sing, is it a singer in a nightclub? He's a singer in a nightclub? Oh, it can't be. The news those kind of singers. Whistling singers are ridiculous. <laughs> Jack, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, uh, are you currently appearing in a nightclub in New York? Yes, Mr. Serf? Uh, besides singing, have you got some other specialty for which you're well known? Miss Francis? Was, that was yes, too, that was wasn't yes. it? That was yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you play a musical instrument? Are we never going to hear this person speak? No, I will ask uh, our guest now to uh, answer the questions. 
himself. All right. Uh, are you currently appearing at a nightclub in New York City at the present moment? Or are you currently appearing at the present moment? No. Yes. Uh, yes. Is he? Yes. Miss Truman? Uh, uh... <laughs> oh, I'm still on. Uh, oh, I don't know. Is it your turn? I'm you sorry. You want to ask another question, Jack? E? I, I'd like to. I, I, he is appearing at the, at the, at the moment at the, at the nightclub, That's right? right. Are you appearing on 10 East 60th Street, Copacabana? Miss Truman. Hmm. That's five dollars. No? no, that's no. five dollars five to go. But he is currently appearing in a nightclub in New York. Let's see, what nightclubs are there? Uh, Maybe at the hotel. Uh, oh, goodness. I'm not very good at this. Um, Maybe he's a singing waiter. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he sounds like the type. Uh, Jack, what's another nightclub? There's a couple around the Latin Quarter. I ought to get something there for yeah, nothing. Uh, Latin, uh, Latin Quarter? Latin yes. Quarter. Well, are a... you currently appearing at Basin Street? <laughs> are you currently appearing at Basin Street? <laughs> I just remembered oh. that. I've been there. Oh. No, Miss Marks. It's six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. If that voice is on the level now, I wonder if do you ever use a battered high hat for the act you do? Ted Lewis? Ted Lewis, you are. Who, just to clarify things, is at the Starlight Roof of the Waldorf Astoria. Well, that's a hotel. I said you said nightclub, you see. Well, that, the Starlight Roof in the Waldorf is a nightclub, I think, by well, most of There's only two salary. nightclubs in town. He can, you know, one of the other. It's, there is a difference. We gave it to him good. That there is, is but in the general area, area, I think you're saying. Well, well, uh, enough see, of us talking uh, at the time. Well, I would raise it wrong. Let's, exactly. let's make a federal case, that is. I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Or were you on tonight, or is it next Sunday? Next Sunday. Next, be on Sunday. next Sunday. Sunday. It's Sullivan. It's Sullivan. But he's with us I'm glad we got you first. You got it's to one of the few times. Shadow, Ted? Yes, uh, and rock and roll. How does that well, last song, how does that last note go, me and my shadow? Yes, sir. How did that last note that go? That last... Actually, Ted Fine. just made a new album of Me and My Shadow. Yes. How does the last, how does the last the part last of it go? Your identification of it. You mean something like this? Yeah. yeah. Come on, Jack. I used to be pretty fat. <laughs> Are you going to do an act? <laughs> Don't hear a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, you know, Jack, I suppose these things are all known to you by rote, but I can remember as a kid in school seeing Ted Lewis, and it's hard to realize that it's his 45th anniversary in show business, and I guess his popularity hasn't changed much in all those years, because he was a great star in, in my so younger days. So he was also a millionaire in those days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was Do you remember the song he sang in those days? When my baby smiles, smiles at, at me. me. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, if I dared, I'd ask Bennett to sing it to you, but, uh, <laughs> and I think that, uh, we had a lot of fun tonight. Charlie Needle knows being in there. We had five members in the panel. And so till next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Eileen Francis. Thank you, John. I just want to say also good night to Chris and Jonathan Cerf, who was sitting in the first row there. I'm sure they're very proud of dear dad. And Phyllis, you too, wherever you are. <laughs> and good night to you, Mr. Needleman, Jackie Leonard. It's always fun to have you. Good night, Miss Clifton Daniel. It's so much fun being with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cool. Thank you. Oh, good night, all. Bennett. Good night, Margaret. Nice to have you with us. Thank good night. You. About this baby thing. We'll be talking about that. I'm still right. What do you mean about this baby thing? He well, said, are you in the baby business? She's not she in the baby to... business. She's teaching parents how to take care of babies. Why do I have all this trouble <laughs> with the parents? <laughs> good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What My Life. on What's My Line are made through American Airlines. American Airlines flies our contestants in luxurious comfort aboard DC-7 flagship. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS television network. Be sure to watch the other Helene Curtis television program, Dollar...